Hi there, this is Rob. I'd like to introduce you to our improved voice panel application. Now you can drive more value, productivity, and agility in Microsoft Teams by utilizing the voice panel to activate and manage your users. Our voice panel has been updated to include additional features, such as the ability to choose between local or global deployment models. You can configure multiple regional calling policies and assign these policies on a per-user basis. We've added a new export feature where you can generate a user list to a file that can be used for the bulk assignment of phone numbers to users or as an aid to reference your voice footprint. We've also added additional visibility to the user listing tab so you can see where users are located, plus more. So how do you install the voice panel? From within Teams, go to Apps and search for Voice Panel by Scipio. The application will appear. Click on the tile, then select Add. The application is now installed. Click on Sign In to begin the activation process. Based upon your team's login rights, your access within the Voice Panel is verified. When the application determines this is your first time setting up the connection with Scipio, you'll be prompted to enter your account ID number. Once you've entered the account ID number, click on Continue Setup. At this stage, you would select either a local or a global deployment option. Local deployments are used when all of your users are within one region. When selected, you can only pick one region. Global deployments are used when your users are spread out over multiple regions. When selected, you can pick multiple regions where the users are closest to. For this example, we'll choose a global deployment option and specify the users are closest to the US and UK regions. The application configures the voice connection between the customer's tenant and the Scipio carrier service. When the application completes the connection, click on Continue Setup. In the routing section, you set up voice redundancy priorities by first selecting a regional policy and then by adjusting the backup regions within that policy. The priority for each failover region can be raised, lowered, removed, and added to suit your needs. When through adjusting, select Apply Changes and then Continue Setup to proceed. When activating large numbers of users, select Export Users and the application will generate a user list that is sourced from Active Directory. Using Excel, you can edit this list to assign appropriate DID numbers and calling policies to your users. When through, save the list and use the import function to allow the application to perform the number and policy assignments that you specified in the list. If you would prefer to assign phone numbers and calling policies later, you can skip this step and select Continue Setup. The activation is now complete. Click on Done. After activation, the Voice Panel application will assist you with some common voice administrative tasks. Within the Users tab, finding what you're looking for is easier than before. Click on the arrows in the column headers to sort columns in ascending or descending order. The dynamic search function scans against data in all columns so you can quickly narrow down the contents of the displayed list. By selecting the edit icon on a phone number, you can change the phone number or click on the X to delete it. To change a calling policy, select the edit icon, pick the calling policy from the list and select the check mark to accept. To remove a calling policy from a user, click on the delete icon. To accept your changes, click on apply changes. If you need to make additional routing adjustments, select the Routing tab. It operates the same as it did during the initial setup. Begin by selecting a routing policy and select the region's up or down arrow to promote or demote a region's priority order. Each region in a policy can also be unassigned and reassigned to suit your business compliance and data governance requirements. The Service Numbers tab is where you assign DID numbers and calling policies to resource accounts for auto attendance and call queues. Resource accounts can be sorted and dynamically searched in the same manner as users. To assign a number to an account, you simply click on the phone number field and enter it in. If you need a calling policy assigned, 
Select the appropriate policy from the drop-down list and apply the changes. The Training tab holds a growing collection of brief voice-centric videos that are designed to provide users and administrators with answers to commonly asked questions. Now we've made it better, faster, and easier to enable voice in Microsoft Teams with the improved Voice Panel by Scipio application. Thank you.